Hi, thanks so much to the organizers for having me here today and for giving me the opportunity to share a bit about my experiences. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about design versus conflict, co-creating Arabia Felix games for peace building in Yemen. And I'd like to start by just setting the scene a bit. For more than seven years, Yemen has been embroiled in a proxy war that has had a hugely disproportionate impact on its people, with nearly a quarter of a million people killed directly by fighting and indirectly through lack of access to food, health services, and infrastructure. And you know, of those who have died, 60% are children under the age of five. 60%. At the same time, by 2025, the UN estimates that 69% of Yemen's population will be aged between 15 and 24 years. What does that mean? Well, to me, it means that young people in Yemen have an incredible potential to turn the tides of war in that country. So here's a question for you. How might we empower and motivate young people in Yemen to take active part in achieving peaceful coexistence in their country? In 2017, when I was working at a social design studio in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, I was introduced to a group of aspiring young gamers in Yemen. And for the next three years, I worked together with them to co-create a series of serious games under the name Arabia Felix that aimed to motivate young people to engage positively in the peace building process in their country. By 2020, we had co-created six serious games that could be downloaded from the Google Play Store. Each serious game focused on a different theme and used different forms of gameplay to engage young boys and girls in Yemen around topics like good governance, valuing diversity, and female leadership. The game topics, formats, gameplay, content, and even music tracks were all designed together with Yemeni game designers, developers, and sound artists, as well as by Yemeni diaspora in countries like Egypt and Canada, game developers and designers in the Netherlands, and even a sound effects artist in the UK. Quite a big team. The impact of the games could be seen through, for example, their popularity on the Google Play Store, the number of downloads, which was around 60, 70,000 for these games that you see here in total, et cetera. Um, but one other cool thing about these games is how we sought to measure shifts in perceptions and behaviors, not only using pre and post surveys, for example, but working together with some brilliant minds at Duke University Center for Advanced Hindsight to look at ways that we could actually integrate mechanisms within the games to measure, for example, short and long-term decisions that players would make in the game. And in doing so, we weren't only creating these amazing games, but we were starting to be able to see the impact that these games were having on young people's visions of their country. So who was behind this incredible co-creation process? Well, here was our Europe-based team after a successful four-day remote co-creation workshop with our partners in Yemen. And here was the team in Yemen who would normally join from our client's office in Sana'a, the capital where internet connection was usually more stable and there was a safe space for them to join and to collaborate together. And as we all know by now, remote collaboration can be hard. In all my time on this project, you know, none of us had ever met our partners in Yemen in person and vice versa. But you know, remote collaboration can really also be a beautiful thing and a fun thing. We were fortunate to be working with you know, an incredibly savvy, uh, tech savvy team in Yemen and used online conferencing platforms. We used Slack, we used WhatsApp groups 
to not only do the work together, but also to celebrate each other's achievements, to just check in with each other, to see how, how they were doing, how we were doing, to motivate one another and to support each other throughout this multi-year process. And there we are in this picture here, just celebrating the end of the, the game. And you know, one of the most incredible things that grew out of this collaboration too, beyond the impact of the games themselves, was the journey of the Yemeni team, who started as consultants and testers for the game and ended up a couple of years later, opening their own game design and development studio in Yemen and actually leading the development of the last two games. But you know, rather than me talk about their experience, in the spirit of co-creation that was so central to our collaboration, I'd like to end by passing the mic over to Marwan, to Lujain, and to Yusa, who can tell you a bit more about it themselves. This project definitely meant a lot to all of us, to all the team, because we finally got a chance to give something to Yemen for the people of Yemen. You don't even feel like you're working, you're just having fun. They were so proud to finally see something Yemeni and nice online and they were so uh, happy to see that it actually has a message and it gives them this vision of what Yemen could be, which gives them hope and motivation to look forward for the future and that there is a chance that we can change things in Yemen. Well, um, our superpowers as Yemen is working in, in this project is that we've been able to accomplish something being internationally recognized while living in a war zone. As a great victory for us to be rec recognized and uh, for our project to be heard uh, outside of Yemen. Uh, I wish the best for, for, for you all and um, good luck out there. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>